And now, Fight Club, it is time for our main event of the evening! Yeah. Two of the best battlers in Philadelphia. They both come up to New York and headline the show there. They both killed it there. Two of the fucking best of Fight Club. I need all the energy you have. What do you say? Are you ready for your main event? Yeah! Introducing first, he took a break from sniffing glue sticks to be here tonight. It's Rusty Ray! What's up, Rusty? How you doing tonight? Good. I want you to know I only use glue sticks made from the horses that uh, don't finish the ketamine I do. <laughs> Only the ones who lost the Kentucky Derby, the loser horses. Rusty, you ready for this fight? I, I think uh, it's a fight? Fuck. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> We're going to meet your opponent now. He looks like he puts barbecue sauce on a pussy before eating it. Justin Cooper! <laughs> Justin, how you doing? Are you ready for this fight? Yeah, let's do it. All right, this is a three-round battle. It'll be three jokes in each round. Justin, Rusty, which one of you two wants to go first? I mean, I'll go first. I'm here. Justin's going first. Rusty's going second. Fight Club, one more time. You ready for this main event? Yeah. Three jokes, round one, starting with Justin. This main event starts now. Round one. So I'm glad Rusty could take time off from torturing that woman in his basement to be here tonight. <laughs> Rusty looks like he has a YouTube channel where he reviews used panties. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always a sound effect. Give it up for the legendary Paul Funyon. <laughs> yeah. Justin has an upsetting combination of face and body. Uh, you look like the human cannonball got launched at the bearded woman so hard they became one freak. <laughs> you said that like an autistic carnival barker, so I guess you know what I'm about. Step right up, step right in. Thank you, autism powers. <laughs> Rusty looks like a hobo that lives on the kitty train at the mall. <laughs> Dude, stop shaking the iceberg. I feel like I'm being hunted by Shamu. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? I asked Justin his favorite food, and he said funnel cake. Uh, but if he can't find cake, he just fills his funnel with whatever you got. <laughs> <laughs> Last joke. Good one, recessive Gene Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty is a test tube baby. He's truly got a face only a mother could pay to have created in a lab. <laughs> yeah, I came from one body, not a bunch sewn together. <laughs> Guys, Justin always looks so sad, right? Uh, like, I assume you just tried out for the play and got stuck on stage crew. Uh, with your big ass body and that little black shirt, you look like the stage, the crew, and the darkness they hide in. <laughs> Oh, there's an intermission in between that joke. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for round one of this main event! Yeah. We go to our judges. We don't have to pick a winner yet, but Big Dog Mark Henley, so far, your thoughts after round one? Uh, so far, I think this is pretty good. All their jokes made sense, which I think is a good strategy to go with. Uh, I, I, I was I was I, ca I caught guard because I feel like there was an awe when uh, Rusty said that Justin eats out of the funnel and I can't understand why. <laughs> why was that the thing you all felt bad about? <laughs> it seems fun to eat out of a funnel sometimes. You get a surprise every bite. You know what I mean? I guess maybe it is sad now that I say it that way. <laughs> I'm ready to see round two. <laughs> all right, and Brad Boy, what do you think after round one? It was good. It's cool to see a battle between two guys that obviously desperately need this. <laughs> <laughs> this should be very interesting to see where this goes. I'm uh, very close right now. Hell yeah, very close. I especially like autism powers. Yeah. Hell yeah, the spy who licked doorknobs. Uh, <laughs> Jay Simpson. Yes, this battle is very close. It's very close to me closing my eyes. Step it up, you fucking piece of shit. Step it up. You're better than this. Adam Nutter. Uh, 
Yeah, no, you guys. Uh, Rusty, you're coming on a little stronger right now. Justin, your comebacks are good, but you know, uh, yeah, I, I kind of agree with Jay. You guys are hilarious. So be funny. <laughs> well, your dick's out. <laughs> Jay, don't blame me for your liver disorder. <laughs> You guys are talking to them like comedian, like when an audience member talks to a comedian after the show, like you should step it up a little bit. <laughs> Put this in one of your bits afterwards. <laughs> you can use this. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Fight Club, we got two more rounds. What do you say? Are you ready for round two of this main event? <laughs> round two is gonna be three jokes straight through. We started with Justin in round one. Gonna start with Rusty now. Round two starts. Now. <laughs> Justin looks like Burke Kreischer with zero testosterone. Instead of leaving it, taking his shirt off on stage, he leaves it on in the pool. <laughs> Justin is the embodiment of a wet blanket. Not only is he a total buzzkill, uh, he's always wet. No one wants to know why. <laughs> Another one. This is true. Justin likes to get fucked in the ass with a 14-inch dildo. Uh, it sounds impressive, but this dude's got like 20 inches of butt cheek. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? Justin Cooper. It's good to finally hear the erotica you've written about me. <laughs> it's amazing how Rusty was conceived in a controlled environment, yet he still looks inbred. <laughs> oh, wait! Rusty looks like he was made from only pre cum. <laughs> Rusty's birth defies the laws of nature. I'm glad that the fundamental order of the universe was altered, because God knows we need more depressed minimum wage baristas failing at their dreams in this world. <laughs> Damn, so. That was supposed to be the intermission in my one show. Fight Club, give it up for Justin and Rusty! Go to the judges. Adam Nutter after round two. How are you feeling about this main event? That was a little better. Rusty came out definitely strong. The pre cum joke that Justin was fucking uh, killing me. Uh, yeah, I'm still getting slightly Rusty in my book is ahead, uh, for sure, as of now. Yeah. All right, looks yeah. like maybe Rusty so far going into round three. Jay Simpson. Now that was funny as fuck. That's what roasting is all about, you basic shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, again, fucking. Rusty, that was sick. Uh, sick. Uh, pre uh, fuck, pre cum. Yeah. Pre cum. Weird music. Jay sounds like good. Jay sounds like he wants to drink some pre cum. Are you out? Let me, let me lick your forehead, Rusty. <laughs> Rat boy, what do you think? Uh, good round. Uh, very fun. I just realized right before this battle, Rusty texted me a picture of a fantasy football draft he finished, and it said legendary. <laughs> this guy sucks, dude. Kill him. <laughs> This guy's so autistic. You need to fucking <laughs> slit his throat, dude. Uh, no, very funny. I'm excited for this next batch of jokes. Dude, fantasy football in fucking May already, dude? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mark Hanley. Seventh round? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Big Dog, what do you think after round two? I feel like there's a lot of Philly drama that's coming to the surface during this battle. <laughs> These guys, like, you guys are like soccer coaches with them being like, fight harder. <laughs> you guys are like, you guys are actually representing Philly for the YouTube channel. I thought that was, that was pretty good. I, I, I like just like fucking Rusty texts me too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, both of them clearly want to win, but won't say it. it, it it's this. This is a real competitive matchup. You know what I mean? This is this is good. Uh, I think uh, Justin has sad eyes. Up until uh, <laughs> up until he said that you can get fucked in the ass, and then you look very happy in the eyes. <laughs> that was the, that was a slice of life moment I noticed from the Justin. Rats. Justin's eyes. You know when you like you're really hungry and you eat the whole cake, and then you realize what you just did. That's what Justin's eyes always look like. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm uh I, I don't fully understand everything that's going on, but I'm ready to see it all play out. <laughs> We're gonna move on to round three of our main event. We're gonna pick a winner after the final round. So Fight Club, what do you say? Are you ready for the final round of this main event? Three <laughs> jokes, tip for tat, starting with Justin. Round three starts now. Final round. For this AIDS crisis reenactor, isn't he hard to look at? <laughs> <laughs> I have AIDS. 
Rusty is so creepy looking, every time he moves, he has to go door to door and tell people he's not a sexual offender. <laughs> I'm here to date your six year old. <laughs> Thank you, James Corden Blue. <laughs> That's French for wrapped in ham. <laughs> Justin and his girlfriend never fight, uh, thank God. I don't think Philly is zoned for a Godzilla vs. King Kong thing. <laughs> you know, that's not very nice coming from Woody Allen's stunt double. <laughs> Rusty has led an interesting life. He's like Forrest Gump, if he never achieved anything, but still had the crooked back and mental problems. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for the laugh. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Kubo isn't actually Justin's full last name. Yeah, it, uh, it's actually short for uh, Kubo Noodles. Yeah, uh, his family uh, ate it when they immigrated from lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> last joke. Thank you, Creep Davidson. <laughs> uh, Rusty looks like the devil that pops up on your shoulders and tells you it's okay to masturbate in public. <laughs> oh my god! What is that? <laughs> Justin's mom works at a deli. Uh, the pay isn't great, but uh, the medical benefits sure are. Uh, that's what Justin calls the slices of bologna she wraps his own loft in. <laughs> Here's another vote for Justin Kupo and Rat Boy. Who do you think won this fight? This was really good by both. I love and respect both of you so much. You're both very funny. Give it up for both of them. Yes. Funny comics. <laughs> is also the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Dude, Rusty had a, like, a stinker at the end, but I think throughout the whole thing was maybe a little more consistent. I'm gonna say Rusty, but it's close. Good it's job, both One vote for Rusty, two for Justin, J. Simpson. Ah, uh, yeah, this is really close. The tampon soaked in vodka I have shoved in my ass is totally dry now. This is beautiful. <laughs> uh, no, super close. Uh, can we, can we get like one more from these fucking fans? Can we do yeah. one more from these guys? Yeah, I, I, it's a little too close to fucking to tell right now. You guys are both like the first one was shit, and then the second one was really good, and then the third one was yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's win these motherfuckers. Jay wants one more joke. The crowd started to chant it and then lost one all the more joke. <laughs> one more joke. One more joke. One more joke. Adam, you want one more joke too? Absolutely. Let's get one more joke. All right, fuck it. Fight Club. We're gonna do one more joke. Start Rusty now. One joke overtime, sudden death. Starting with Rusty starts now. Sudden death. Give it up to Sudden me. death. <laughs> Two? <laughs> sudden death. <laughs> Give it up for the gay and silent blob. Guys, uh. <laughs> Justin uh, actually founded a uh, production studio called Passed Out Ghost Productions. It got its name because all of his actresses start out unconscious and wind up dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give it up for this wispy haired praying mantis. <laughs> Jay, uh, Rusty, Jay. <laughs> Rusty looks like Eminem if he had to stay eight mile away from a school. <laughs> 
Fight Club. Give it up for Rusty and Justin. We're going to go back to our judges. Adam Nutter, you can judge it on the overall fight, on just the overtime joke. Up to you. Who do you think won this fight? You guys are both strong. Uh, Rusty constantly looks, looks like he's recovering from methadone, which is nuts. And uh, Justin's the only person that doesn't find a black shirt that's slimming. It's wild. It's <laughs> only person. Um, no, I, honestly, Justin had a better third round, and Rusty had a better first two rounds. And as an MMA guy, I'm going to have to give it to Rusty on that. But the, both your end jokes for both guys, so I'm going to give it to Rusty. There's one vote for Rusty Wright. Jason. Fuck that shit, it's all about crunch time. Fourth round, seven time, we're in goddamn overtime. Rusty, you pulled that shit out of your ass, and I don't know how the fuck you did it. Fuck this fat fuck. <laughs> He's just mad because he lost to me last week. Don't let him fool you. There's two votes for Rusty. Back boy. Oh, thank you, lady. What do you think? <laughs> That's what I call all of them. Here's the thing. I like uh, Luke Combs and I like leukemia, but... <laughs> Come on, rat, rat boy James on Twitter. Here's the thing. Uh, both uh, very funny. Uh, uh, so close. Uh, uh, can I skip? I, uh, you guys both did Rusty? Yeah. Uh, uh, fuck. I... I did Rusty for the first one, so I have to keep. Uh, I have to stay that. But it's so close. I think Rusty got it, but it's really close. Both of you, great job. This so funny. for Rusty, right? Big dog, Mark Henley. What do you think? Uh, I like that Justin was winning, and then his greatest rival, Jay Simpson, forced it to overtime. <laughs> have the advantage. I have to go with the Machiavellian scheme. I vote for Rusty as well. <laughs> Another vote for Rusty Wright. Fight Club. Give it up for the winner of this fight. Rusty Wright. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know if you guys heard during that during that kiss, Jay's black half said pause. <laughs>